When you prepare, access, or publish an Excel workbook, it can have content that you don't wish to expose to others while sending the workbook online. Metadata is the technical term for this type of data. We can use this metadata for multiple objectives. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA-related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create metadata in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Metadata is the hidden information in an Excel file that contains the author's name, initials, organization name, etc. Every Excel file inherits metadata by default. The pieces of information are taken from the user's devices. We can also modify those data according to our needs. Those metadata can contain some confidential information about the company. It may reveal the sources of the information used in the sheet, and so on. So, before we share the Excel file with others, we need to review and remove the metadata from that file. You may not know where you can view or create the metadata of your Excel file. We can do this work in multiple ways. Here I'll show four different but simple methods for creating metadata in Excel. Here I'm using a simple dataset for today's task. Though I don't need any data for this tutorial, I'm just taking it for beautification of the sheet. I'll view the metadata from the file tab and then show how to create it. It's the easiest way to create metadata. Let's follow the video. First of all, go to the file tab. Alternatively, you can easily go to this tab by pressing Alt plus F as the keyboard shortcut. After that, click on the info option from the left side menu. On the right side, you can see the properties. It contains the size, tags, categories and related dates. Hence, click on show all properties. Further, click on the author name box and set the author name as you want. I'll create the author's name as Mark Anthony. Finally, you are able to create metadata in Excel. Also, you can add title, tags, company name, your manager name, etc. in the properties section. Let's put some demo data into these fields. And that's it. I've successfully added some metadata into this Excel file. In this section, my aim is to create an Excel metadata viewer. To begin with, go to the File tab, click on the Info option. In the Info window, click on the Check for Issues drop-down option. Here, select the Inspect Document option. Click on Yes on the warning box. Instantly, the Document Inspector dialog box will appear in front of you. After that, select the desired contents by ticking on the left side of the option and click on the Inspect button. You can see that here's the issue is found, solve this issue and close the dialog box. After that, from the properties option, you can create metadata which has been shown in method 1. In this approach, I'll use the properties wizard. First, go to the file tab, click on the info option. On the right side, you can see the properties drop down. Click on it. After that, select the Advanced Properties option from the Properties drop down menu. Immediately, you can see the Properties dialog box for our file. Here, you can insert the necessary data for creating metadata for your Excel file. Let's put some sample data into these fields and click OK. See, this data have been added as metadata of this Excel file. Let's assume that we have an Excel file in protected mode. Using Windows File Explorer is the way to view and withdraw metadata from protected Excel files. The most significant feature of this method is that you don't need to open the Excel file and you can also create metadata. From the Windows File Explorer, you have to go to the location of the Excel file. Now, click on the View tab drop-down icon, hover the mouse over the Show Expandable option and select the Details pane option. Now, click on the Excel file as a result, on the right side, a window pops up showing the metadata. Further, you can create metadata such as title, authors, etc. Let's see it. I've successfully changed the author name here. In this section, you will learn how to remove metadata in Excel. This is an easy and time-saving task as well. 
Firstly, go to the properties section from the info option like method 1. In the properties section, you can find the metadata of your Excel file. Now, right click on the author name and click on the remove person option to remove the author name from the metadata. Also, you can remove all the metadata at once. Click on the check for issues drop down icon and select inspect document option. Click on inspect. Again, click on the remove all button and then the close button. Finally, you are able to remove metadata from an Excel file. In this tutorial, I have shown multiple methods to create metadata in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and vivia challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.